All right, hello everyone, this is Venom, and today we're talking all about ponds and getting the items you want for very cheap or easily from ponds. You can form gold with this, you can form the items you want with this, including some of the items like the Ring of Endeavor. In fact, as of right now, I've got five Rings of Endeavor. I haven't even claimed the one on my playthrough yet, because I still have not found all those secret tokens. I've got five Rings of Endeavor, okay? So that'll give you an idea of what you're going to be able to do with this. Now, a uh, couple key things to explain what is going on with this pawn system. I've got to explain the pawn system from the basics, so bear with me with that. Uh, even if you think you know what's going on with pawns, go ahead and listen anyway, because this may be information you don't know. Um, because of what I'm doing, and just to kind of prove this is not an exploit or anything, I'm not going to be editing this video, at least in between, you know, now and when I show you how to get these items. I don't want you to think I'm exploiting, I've got no mods on, it's going to work for all three systems, but I do have to explain how the pawn system actually works. So... That being said, uh, using this, you're going to be able to basically search for whatever items you want or whatever items people are giving out for rewards. And there are some pretty rare items that people are giving out. Or they're setting up very easy quests. You can get, you know, 10,000 gold fairly easily through these quests. Or they're giving you items like, you know, Jaspers that sell for, you know, a couple, uh, almost like 28,000 or something like that. So um, let me go ahead and explain exactly what's going on with this. And then I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. Now. First off, the pawn system. Let me explain this because I did not understand it correctly when I first started it. When you are, when you've got your pawn, you can actually set up a pawn quest. Okay. Now, something I misunderstood when setting up my pawn quest is, um, I thought every time somebody completed my pawn quest, it cost me whatever I set up the reward. Uh, that is not true. So what you do is a pawn quest is basically a quest that you can fulfill, kind of like a side quest when you hire somebody's pawn. When you fulfill that request or the requirements, you actually get whatever reward they set up. It could be something as simple as killing an ogre, or it could be giving them a certain item, like a fruit rubber or something like that. Um, it just depends on what they want to do. Uh, the kinds of pawn quests here, you can actually see, I got the kind of the quest right here. Uh, there's two kinds. You can either earn a pawn badge, and it could be anything from camping in certain places so many times to getting a kill against the certain enemies. You can see these are the badges that my that my uh, pawn currently has, or the one she's working towards. It's my Megamine, of course. Um, and of course there are areas you can camp. Or, the other type is to require an item. You give that pawn an item, and then you're gonna get the reward. And you can see these are all the different kinds of items you can actually, re uh, request. There are limits to some of them. For example, uh, let's take a look here. For the wake stones, there's only one. Uh, if you want troll beetles, you, you can put up to nine. Uh, I think nine's the most I've seen so far. Uh, you can even request forged items, so you can request a lot of different items. You can't request everything. You can't request things like armor, unfortunately. Uh, you can't request, um, you cannot request, um, weapons, anything like that. Uh, this is just, like, everything you want to request is right here. Now, ever, you can set up rewards with those items. So, for rewards, you can see you set up gold. Uh, 10,000 is the most gold you can actually set up. And that's typically, that's pretty standard when you see someone setting up a quest. Or you can give them items. And again, there are limits to how many items you can give somebody. Um, now this is a lot more that you can do for, um, or a lot more items you have available. Some do seem to have, uh, limits on them. Uh, I think the most I've seen is 12. It might have just been how many they had at the time as well. Uh, there seems to be a lot more leeway with the items. So it actually looks like I don't have a limit on any of these items. It's letting me max them out. So I think I just happen to... Nope, here we go. Uh, right here, for example. Dragon Scales, I've got 14. and only lets me give up to 11. So that's an example right there. I think for certain gems, I've seen only up to 12 go out. Uh, let's see. Anything else? Here we go. We got uh, Misshapen Eyes. I've got 15. only gives up to 11. Uh, Freakish Spain, same thing, 11. So, there are limits to what you can give out still. Uh, just, it just wildly varies. Now, as you can see, you can also give out weapons. You can give out armor. And you can actually see right here, and I sit, I've got two current, uh, two rings of endeavors equipped to my character right now. You see, I've got three more rings of endeavor in my storage right now. Okay. These aren't, uh, these aren't fakes. They're not forged. You can't even forge these anyway. So yeah, these are all 100% real, gotten using this method. Now, why am I saying all this? Well, because the way the pawn system works is, when you set up a quest, and I go and set up a quest now, let's say I want to set up a quest, and it's going to be earn a patch, go kill an ogre, okay? And I'm going to set the request as gold, you know, 10,000 gold. What's going to happen is, I'm going to confirm that, and then when people see my pawn and they can hire it, and they're going to see this quest pop up for them. It's going to be, you know, defeat Grim Ogre. And doing so, we get you 10,000 gold. Now, I've only got a pin to 10,000 gold one time, but... A million people could hire my pawn, and all million of those people would get 10,000 gold, and only that initial 10,000 gold comes from me. So it literally prints money. Uh, let's say I want to put a Ring of Endeavor on there instead. If a million people hire Megamine and do that quest, 
a million rings of endeavor go out, okay? So, for that reason, don't be scared. Go ahead and bump that quest. If you're doing gold, bump it up to 10,000. If you got the gold, bump it up. Uh, that way, as many people as possible can go ahead and get that, um, can get that gold. And it's more of an incentive for people to hire your pawn. Now, why do I say all that? Because, one, I didn't understand that myself when I hired out the pawn, I, or started with the pawn system. I thought every time somebody hired my pawn, I had to pay that amount. So I was actually putting them out for like 500 gold at first. Then I read and, you know, did the research and found out that's not how it actually works. So, don't be skimpy. Go ahead and put those items out there. Now, the pawn quest will stay until you rest at an inn. Okay, so as long as you don't rest at an inn, you don't got to reset your pawn quest. So keep that one in mind. Your pawn quest will stay until you reset it at an inn. Once you rest at an inn, that's going to hard save, and you're going to have to reset your pawn quest. So, for example, let's say I put a ring of endeavor out there as my pawn quest, and I go on vacation for two years. That will stay the pawn quest for my pawn the entire time. Now, as soon as I come back and I sleep in that inn, or I sleep in a house and get that hard save, it's going to reset. Now, let's say I set it up right now, and, you know, I come back and I rest in an hour, and someone's done it. That's going to reset it again, too. So keep that one in mind as well. Now, why do I mention all that? Because there's actually a couple different places you can go to to see what kind of pine quest people are putting out there. And unfortunately, it's not in-game. So I can actually go in here and see what pines I have in the rift. It will show us, you know, what pines are out there. It'll show them they've got pine quests. You can see, for example, Gummy here has got a pine quest, but it's not showing me what the reward is right here. Now, it tells me what I've got to do, but it's not showing me what the reward is. So that's very unfortunate. But I can go ahead and take a look at the pawns out here. We can see what we got here. Let's see, for example, Ray. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and circle to where or cycle to where it shows me if they got a pawn quest or not. Uh, pawn quest, yes. Ray got a pawn quest. So I'm going to open them up and it'll tell me what the pawn quest is here. A very basic one. Uh, defeat Chimera for 10,000 gold. A very standard one. Uh, let's take a look at another one here. Uh, pawn quest none. Here we go. Uh, here we go. Another pawn quest. This goes beat Sphinx. That's another one. You actually get some badges for that. Uh, 10,000 gold. And again, 10,000 is the maximum amount of gold you can put out there. Uh, here's Marie. That's another pawn quest. Uh, this one to feed a golem. 10,000 gold. Very, very standard is a 10,000 gold quest. So keep that one in mind. You will oftentimes run into items here. Here we go. Uh, this one is actually giving out the woodland wordsmith tome. So this is one I believe will give you the, uh, will let you, uh, where actually let your pawn learn Elvish. So for this one, all you gotta do is camp in Central Batal three times, and he will give you that tome. And again, it's gonna go to every person who does this, everybody who hires this pawn. But he's only gotta give up the one time. So it is technically printing items, but this is all legit. This is not exploits. This is how the system is made to be done. So technically speaking, yes, every time you're hiring a pawn out, whatever reward you're putting out there, it's technically printing that reward. So if, again, I put out a pawn with 10,000 gold for reward and 10 people hire it, I mean, that's basically 100,000 gold right there that's basically been printed. So, or 90,000 technically, but you understand what I'm saying. Now, if you're having trouble getting your pawn hired out, if you're not putting pawn quests on your pawns, uh, that's probably why. So you definitely want to put pawn quests on there. If possible, that will help uh, kind of incentivize people to pick your pawn. Now, we're going to go over a couple more there, and I'm going to show you guys how to find the items you're actually looking for. Uh, so here we go. Another one, Defeat Chimera, 10,000. Uh, Pine Quest right here. This one, Defeat of the Sphinx, 10,000. And again, some of these are pretty common. The Yogur you'll see pretty common. Cyclops you'll see common. Sphinx is one you'll see pretty commonly because there is a batch for beating the Sphinx. See, here's one where somebody only did 2,200 gold. Now, it could be that they didn't have more gold than that, or it could be that, again, they're under the misconception that it's going to come out of their pocket every time somebody does it. But again, this is one that's pretty standard. Defeat Ogre. The, the quest... Uh, uh, reward isn't quite there though, but it is still a pretty decent one. I also got one more here. Defeat Golem, 10,000. I hate those quests because I hate fighting Golems, but you gotta see how it works. Okay. Now, that being said, in both Patal and Burnsworth, you can actually examine the stones there. You know, they got the bigger ripstones there. And you can actually search for pawns by their pawn ID. Now, the pawns in the game are not crossplay. So, PS5, you're stuck to PS5. Xbox, you're stuck to Xbox. Steam, you're stuck to Steam. So, you can only hire, so for example, I'm on Steam. I can only hire pawns for people playing on Steam, on PC. So, keep that one in mind. But, you can actually get somebody's pawn ID and hire their pawn with their ID. So, that being said, this is all leading up to showing you a couple of different sites that are going to actually show you people hiring out their pawns for specific things. Now, bear with me here again. Again, I'm doing all this live. Just so you guys understand, I'm not hiding anything or doing anything shady. So first off, I'm going to show you is actually the Dragon's Dogma Discord. I'm going to bring it up real quick. 
And again, I'm not editing any of the sex. I don't want you guys to think I'm doing anything, uh, that I'm lying about anything. So I'm already part of the Dragon's Dogma Discord, but I'm going to hit, go on, ah, going to go ahead and bring it up now. Just search Dragon's Dogma Discord. I'll also link it down in the description below. But click on it. And of course, it's going to bring you here. It'll say, you know, accept invite. I'm already a part of it, so I'm not going to accept the invite. I'm just going to bring up my, uh, bring up my Discord. Bear with me while I start it up. Now there's a Discord, and there's going to be a website I'm going to take you guys to as well. It's just Reddit, but there is a Reddit post showing you where there are a bunch of different pods at. Okay, I don't know, don't need any of that. Okay, so here we go, the Dragon's Dogma 2 Discord. Let me stop messing with my emotions, come over here. Okay, streamer mode is on. Okay, so here is the Dragon's Dogma 2 Discord, I'm right here. And what you're looking for, let me move my mic out of the way here. You're looking here on the left, you're going to join in, you're going to have to obviously... Uh, accept the rules and everything. But once you've done all that and you're on the site, you're going to come down to the Dragon's Dogma 2 tab right here. You're going to come down to Pond Hiring Hall. And here you're going to see we've got three different areas we can go to. We can go to Xbox. We can go to PlayStation. Or we can go to Steam. Okay. So again, remember, these are not cross-play, so you've got to choose what, um, what you're actually currently playing on. So again, I'm on Steam. So I'm going to click on Steam, and you can see right here, we've got all the people hiring out their pawns on Steam. So I'm going to jump to present, and we can see what the newest pawns are out for hire. Now, typically, you're going to see, you know, the pawns name, you know, what they are. You're going to see what level they are, what their vocation is, um, all that stuff. You see the specialization. You'll see their skills oftentimes. It is, it, the more detail people put in, typically the better. You'll see what they look like, too. And they will usually have what it is that they are giving out as far as their quest reward. Now, this one's not showing it, so we're going to kind of scroll through. And this is going to take some work on your part to actually scroll through and figure out what it is you want to, uh, what it is you want to hire. Now, right now, none of these are showing the quests. And keep in mind, if you post your own pawns up here too, if you're going to put out your own pawns for pawn quests, make sure you're putting out what your quest is you're doing and what the reward is. That's one more reason or one more way to get your pawn hired out. All these guys that haven't put what it is that their uh, their pawns are giving out, I'm not doing it. So this one, for example, it says request defeat two or one monster for two all hill elixirs. It doesn't really tell me what the monster is, so that doesn't really help me. So I'm just going to keep going through. Uh, here we go. This one says camp in vermin area for 10,000 gold. Uh, this is a level 60 pawn. You know what? We're going to go ahead and hire this one. So we're going to go ahead and do this one. Uh, let's go ahead and copy it. So we're going to copy the pawn ID. I'm going to copy it. Gonna come back over to the game, paste it in. Let's see. This is a newer one, so it should be there. And there you go. It says Camp in Burnsworth area three times for ten thousand gold. And I can just summon this pawn and hire it right out. So summon pawn. All the others are gonna back away. Then that one pawn should pop up. Where is she at? Here we go. There we go. Take a look at it. That is a tall pawn. And there you go. Camp in Burnsworth area three times. Man, you get 10,000 gold. Now, one thing I want to mention about the camping aspect too, when it says to camp in a certain area, you got to camp in different spots in that area. You can't do three camping in one spot. I found it out the hard way. So you got to go to three different campsites to, to, uh, make that work. But if I were to take this pawn, I can go ahead and hire her out, go camp three times and boom, easy 10,000 gold. Now we're not going to hire. I'm just going to go through and show some more examples. Let me bring up the, uh, now, forgive me, I, I need to shave or quit. My beard is going crazy in my nose. So next time you guys see me, I might have all this shaved off. And I might have uh, <laughs> have my hair straight and my head straight. That's where I wear my damn hat all the time because I haven't uh, shaved my head in a while. It is hard raising a one-year-old and keeping up with your shit. I'll tell you what. Now, that being said, uh, let's take a look at some more. So this one says uh, one psychos for reward, uh, 10,000, yada, yada. I'm looking for one that's got, um, and I'll share on a different website too. It's easier to search there. I don't like searching on, on uh, Discord too much. Because a lot of crap you got to wade through, but the website is going to be a lot easier. The Reddit, uh, the Reddit post, uh, quest Twilight Star for camping. Oh, hold on a second. Wait, wait, wait. Twilight Star. What's that? I don't know what that is. We're going to take a look. Uh, what is the Twilight Star? I do not know. We are about to find out. Now, as you can obviously tell, this is all community driven too. This is all going to be what people put out there for. Oh, here we go. It's a headband. Okay, I think I might have that one. I take it back. Uh, let me double check here. Do I have the Twilight Star? Uh, let me just check it real quick. This is a rare item, or this is an easy one? Uh, Twilight Star, yada yada. It looks like it's a pretty easy one to get. Seekers, oh, okay, Seekers Token, what does it do? 
defense only resists. Uh, okay, it gives a bunch of resistances, so that's not too bad. Uh, I'm looking at the wiki right now. I was trying to see if this is a uh, a rare item or not, but you know what? Let's uh, we'll save that one for later on because camping's gonna take a while. But again, you can get the Twilight Star here. It looks like this is one that actually comes from Secret Token, so yeah, it's a rarer one. Uh, this one you get from camping in Batal, or I'm sorry, uh, Central Batal. Let's take a look at some more on here too. Uh, so that's a pretty decent one. Uh, there we go, Monster for 10k. Uh, Thief, Pawn, Steam Code. There we go, 10k to kill a Cyclops. You're going to see a lot uh, that are going for 10k. Here we go. Uh, current quest, kill one Ogre for 12 Onyx. Please leave a like or heart. Uh, now the Onyxes and the Jaspers actually sell for quite a bit, so keep that in mind. They're going to sell for more than 10,000. So oftentimes you'll see people that want to give more than 10,000. They will put out uh, for Jaspers or Onyx. They'll sell for a lot. And, uh, Bapatal. So keep that one in mind. But that one, you hire this one for, uh, 12,000. Now, there's one more thing to kind of remember for this too. And let me find one that's a higher level than me. So most of these, as you can see, are about my level. Uh, here we go. This pond is level 100. So I don't even care what this one's got. I'm just going to go ahead and pull the code real quick. Now, of course, hiring ponds takes, um, takes RC. If you don't have enough RC to hire a pond, and let me go ahead and pull out this uh, pawn here. Summon a spawn. Can you see right now? I don't have nearly enough to summon this pawn. This thing looks like Gollum almost. Uh, yep, defeat over 10,000. Or, yep, 10,000. I don't have enough to summon this thing. However, what you can do, if you add the person as a friend, you will usually see their friend code here. If you've got a friend, you can hire their pawns for free. And let me show you here. Excuse me. So I'm not obviously can't hire her. I'm gonna to go to the crystal. And you're gonna see I've got search for pond. I said pond quest, ponds and rip, yada yada. We're gonna search for pond. And we've got fairy ponds, friends ponds. We want to go to friends ponds. And we can even go to pond your main pond nose. But we're gonna to go to friends ponds. And I've got three people I currently have as friends. Uh you can see they've all got different quests, but you can see none of these are gonna actually cost me. Let's go ahead and summon pawn. We're going to cost me anything. Now, the level 79 one is still higher than me, so it should still cost me a little bit. But you can see right there, it cost me zero. Nothing. And in fact, this one's got a quest that I did earlier today. It's a fairly simple one. It's basically somebody giving out a free 10,000. You summon her, you trade her a fruit reborant, and you get 10,000 right there. Don't even have to kill anything. Just give her a very easy item you can make. Probably might even have it in your inventory. It's an easy item, easy 10,000 gold, and you're set. So that is how you do that through Discord. Let me show you the Reddit post now. And again, this Reddit post is going to be down below. I'm going to link the, I'm going to put the link down below. I like the Reddit post a bit better just because I can actually go through and I can, um, I can search for what it is that I want. I can search like if I'm looking for rings, I can search for the rings. If I'm looking for anything specific, I can search for that specific item. So here we go. Here's the Reddit post. Dragon's Dogma 2. This is the pawn hiring post. Okay, and of course it goes from top down. So you can see this one was just posted 10 minutes ago, 10,000 gold, PC, Archer. Now the only thing that sucks about this one is that it is not sorted by uh, by platform. So you're going to have to go through and look at this one, you know, manually. Uh, you can see this one is Steam, this one is Steam. Uh, looks like this is level 100 mage. Uh, this one's level 92. Daggers having keys. What is the quest on this one? Now, unfortunately, they don't necessarily always put the quest on here, so this is where you're going to have to go through, and you're going to have to really um, sort through it. Now, luckily, you can just, you know, control F and find. So, let's go for the rings that uh, we really want. The the rings that help with your vocation. That's going to be the... I can't remember what the other ring they're called now. Um, shit. It's all right, my brain just had a brain for or I just had a brain for it here. And I cannot see items in the rift because, of course, I can't. Uh, bear with me a second. Here we go. Friggin' there we go. Endeavor. I, I could not remember the word endeavor. Let's look up. <laughs> okay, here we go. Endeavor. Let's see what we got here. There's five right here. Now, there's actually more. It does not load up all of the posts at once. You can see right here, there's over 2,000 more. So I can load up more and find more, uh, find more rings here. Let's go ahead and go through them. Uh, this one, get Ring of Endeavor. This is on PlayStation right here. So this is on PlayStation. Um, kill a Drake, and you're gonna get uh, a Ring of Endeavor for this one. Uh, I can't look at this one up because it's on PlayStation. Let's go. Let's see if I can find one on Steam here. Uh, platform PS5. Another one. Uh, kill a Cyclops. Ring of Endeavor. This is only posted 19 hours ago, so it's probably still good. Uh, here we go. PS5. 
This one is, which one is this? Name does not tell me pawn. Nope, PlayStation. Another Ring of Endeavor. Ring of Endeavor is a very common. That ring is a pain in the ass to get. They are very, very common. You're going to see a lot of them on here. Uh, Ring of Endeavor. This is on Steam. Uh, let's go ahead and look this one up. So this one's on Steam. Uh, I think I might have summoned this one before. In fact, it might be on my friends list. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. So just to prove that, you know, the rings I'm getting, they're legitimate. They're coming from these pawns I'm hiring. I'm going to show you a pawn you can hire to get a ring of endeavor. All right, search for pawn, search for pawn ID. Let's see if the quest is still up. There we go. Bam. This one, camp in West Berman three times for the ring of endeavor. And this dude is level 200. This person has been grinding their ass off. Oh, this is Jance. They have been grinding. This was not 250 before. In fact, when he posted this, I don't think it was 250. I think this was, uh, yeah, it just leveled up because it was 249 when they posted it earlier and is now leveled up. So yeah, that is crazy. You can summon the pawn. Now, you're going to definitely have to add this guy as a friend if you want, uh, to hire this pawn. This thing costs, holy crap, it costs 5.1 million RC to hire it. I don't think I'm ever going to have that in my entire lifetime playing this game. But, like I said, you can find others in here that are also, yeah, 5.1 million. You can find others that are doing the exact same thing that also have, uh, the items you want to. So let's go through here. Uh, let's go to the last one here, see if we can load some more replies, see who else is giving out some of these ranks. Now, this as I'm looking through, I'm going to kind of tell you how people are doing this. So, again, uh, people are basically setting up their pawns, and then they are essentially letting them sit for days, or they're just going a long time without resting at an inn or without resting in their house, which, as you can imagine, is kind of a pain in the butt, but you can camp at uh, campsites and get all your health back. So, you've got to be really careful not to sleep in an inn or anything, and you should be good. Here we go. There's another one. Uh, this one's on Steam. Uh, this is Ishtar as well. The, oh, I think this is the same palm, but they leveled up like crazy. Yeah, this is nine days ago. Okay. So nine days ago, that person had the ring. Now, I think I found the ring of endeavors I got. I got one off of here, and I got a few off of the, off of the Discord. So, you're going to have to go back and forth to find exactly what it is you want. Like I said, they both got pros and cons. Discord, you can choose what platform you're on. Reddit, I can just control F and search for what I'm looking for. Uh, and, and it's a lot easier for me on that one. It's just, I go through both. It's just whatever you want to do. Uh, you want to give away some Onyx? Here we go. Uh, PS5, giving away Onyx for one mighty reborrant. That is essentially an, an easy 28,000 right here. So on PS5, some of this one, level 51, given one mighty reborrant, you get 12 Onyx. That is going to be like 28,000 gold right there. That's going to be like two minutes of work for 28,000. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, PlayStation, uh, one explosive arrow for 12 Onyx, 28k. Another easy one. Uh, here we go. This one's gonna be PS5. Uh, one Pansia. And then, again, another, uh, a lot of people selling Onyx on PlayStation, looks like. Uh, yep, Onyx, Onyx, Explosive Arrow for Onyx. Uh, one Taring Arrow for Onyx. This one is also, I'm look, is there one for Steam? I kinda want some of those Onyx now. Uh, come on, yada yada yada, PS5. Easy Onyx for a Drenching Arrow. Here we go, this one's on Steam. Uh, this was six days ago. Let's see if it's still active. This one might not be active anymore, or it might be a higher level. Let's go ahead and do this one as an example. Let's see if this pawn is still active. Now, if it's from days ago, the pawn may not be active. So you do kind of want to... Oops, I did not mean to do that. You do want to kind of look for pawns that have been uh, uploaded, you know, that day or within a few hours. But I have had some pawns that I searched for that were days ago, and they were still active. And not to mention, there we go, Jasper, one drinking arrow for 12 Jasper. I'm going to go ahead and summon them. Um... Now, regardless, that pawn is going to be summoned with the code, and even if it's not what they currently had posted, like if I summon this one, uh, he said he was going to weigh Onyx, currently he's got Jasper, you'll still see that pawn. I mean, you can still bring him in, that code's still going to work. The pawn code doesn't change, it's just going to be whether or not that's the active quest or not. And typically, the people that are putting out some of these really cool quests, the really easy quests, they're going to continue to do so. So, that's, uh, that's how it works. So, there we go. I just hired that pawn, it just wants one drenching arrow for, uh, for some Jasper, let me run and get some, prove and show you exactly how this works, and then I'm gonna turn you guys loose, and I'm gonna let you guys, uh, I'm gonna let you guys go and explore this. So let me run back to Bob Patal here again. I'm not editing any of this out. I want you guys to see that this is all legitimate. Now, uh, that being said, when I'm done with this video, this is gonna go up tomorrow, which is gonna be Friday. I am not gonna be playing for a good portion of the weekend, or if I am, I'm gonna put the same quest out there. I am going to be putting out a Ring of Endeavor, for on my character, I don't know how much I'm going to charge for it first, 
I may charge something really easy, or I may charge like five worm life crystals or something, because I do need to get a lot more worm life crystals. I've gone through a lot of crystals doing a lot of testing for you guys, so I might put something out for a quick five crystals. I don't know that even that might be too much. I don't know. That might be, that, that might be too much. Let me know in the comments if that's too much, uh, too much to charge for something, but, uh, I am going to be putting out a Ring of Endeavor for the weekend, so keep that one in mind. If you need the Ring of Endeavor and you're on PC, I'm going to be putting it out. I will put my code to Megamine down in the bottom. And go ahead and take her out too. She's a level 75. She's pretty strong. She is a sorcerer, and she has the exact moves that you think she's going to move. That's all she does. Uh, now, she does also have a the flamethrower, just so she's got something else to back it up. But her main move that she's going to be using is going to be, you, you know, you know, you know what Mega Means using. So uh, we need one drenching air, I believe. There we go. Let's talk to that pawn. For some reason, the pawn's always way outside here. Only Mega Mean comes in. There we go. You just talk to him. There we go. Give item. One drenching arrow. And boom. Twelve Jasper. Afterwards, you can go ahead and dismiss him. And then go ahead and find you another pond. Now, you can give somebody some items if you want to as well. I'm going to give him a sun bloom. Here's a flower. Uh, when you do this also, make sure you heart or thumbs up the person too. Just so that they, you know, give them a little extra love. Uh, give them any extra items you want to. Whatever you want. And, uh, and you're good. Now, let me go ahead and sell these Jaspers to show you how much they cost. Because, again, typically when people, the max somebody can give gold-wise is going to be 12000 But I hear in Bapital, Jasper sells for quite a bit more than that. You can more than, almost triple the amount of money you're getting. So let me go to someone I can sell this to. Here we go. Uh, come to this fucker here. Sell Jasper right here. 2.8 thousand each, sell all that, 3, or 33,600 is what I made from that. So instead of 10,000, I got three times as much of that. So, uh, yeah, that is how you use pawns to get the items you want in the game. Now, again, this is all community driven. None of this, again, is any kind of duplicating. This, this is all working as intended. But what I'm doing is bringing attention to it and letting you know how the system works. This is one we have to actually engage in to get the most out of it. So if you want to get some cool stuff, or you want to actually engage in it, go ahead and set your own pawn up too to have quests as well. In fact, I've got my own pawn set up as well. I've got a picture of it and everything. I can go ahead and post on Reddit and post on uh, post on the Discord. I do go ahead and when I... Uh, I did an experiment earlier today to see if you know the items I put up there that I wanted would actually come in and it did work. So go ahead and get your own pawns ready to go to set these quests up too. Again, if you're doing gold, do 10,000. 10,000 gold. I mean, if you're totally broke, I get it. Don't do it to 10,000. Do whatever you can. But again, you only got to pay that once. If you got the money, do the 10,000. Don't cheap out. Uh, if you got Jasper, uh, 12 Jasper is the max you can do. Uh, do that. That's even more money. And if you want specific things done, go ahead and set the uh, quest you want. Like if you want to get certain badges, go ahead and do that. But if you just want to give us some free stuff, set a really eyes, uh, easy item to get. An arrow, a reborant. Um, whatever it is you want to set up. So, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for today, guys. Um, like I said, this is one people... Excuse me. And again, I'm not, I can't edit everything out here. I've been burping everything like crazy. I do apologize. Now, this is a very, very down and dirty video, but I wanted to show that this is all legitimate. I wanted people to know this is what to engage in. This is what you're going to get. And this is, I mean, the rewards really are limitless as to what you can actually get for this kind of stuff. So, I mean, this is all community driven, though. We've got to engage with this. So keep that in mind. This is something we have to engage with. These are not NPCs that you're trading with. These are actual people putting their pawns out there for actual items. So you're going to actually be giving them items. They are putting out their hard-earned items out there. And again, it's basically printing items and money for the rest of us. So we got to basically uh, give in kind. So that's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you for coming by. If you like it, like it. If you loved it, sub. And I will see you guys on the next video.